Institute, and I suppose they're aligned in what we see as a law firm as our responsibility, which is to try to give thought leadership and to see the things and the challenges we're beginning to, to face. And the Institute does that extremely well, and we're very proud to be, support, to be associated with them. Uh, within that issue of the uh, challenges that society, or particularly in Europe, that we face, there's nothing more important, perhaps, than climate change. Whilst we talk about the financial challenges and even the challenges that we had in Paris very recently, climate change is, in our view, the biggest challenge that we face and society faces over the next generation. Uh, and to have somebody of John's uh, talent and knowledge to come and talk to us about that uh, is something that we're very proud of. As far as I understand from John, he's going to think a bit deeply about uh, the climate change and not just look at the negotiations uh, leading up to Paris next year, which are fundamentally important, but how, in fact, uh, in the reaction to the financial crisis, the politics uh, behind how Europe moves uh, will influence climate change and how perhaps climate change will in influence that. Uh, and that bigger picture of where Europe is going and how the citizen relates to Europe, I think is going to be a very interesting topic. A topic that was close to my heart, in fact, only two nights ago when I had to help my 20-year-old uh, daughter who's in second-year law write an essay in the, for her French department, she's doing law in French, on the uh, reducing number of people voting in the French elections and the European elections. And that, in a way, is quite close to what I think John is probably going to talk about. So I'll be taking notes for my daughter for her exams <laughs> from what John says. So, John, you're very welcome, and thank you very much, and thank you, Raymond. Thank you.